just got out of the store. Um, Bass Pro there. Bought something I've been wanting for a long time to play with. Not real sure why I haven't, but a uh, CRKT Pilar. The standard one, the original one. It's all steel. Um, nothing fancy. $34.99, I believe. And um, I have a few ideas. Things I want to try. Things I've been thinking about doing to one for a long time. And some additions after seeing the large Pilar and the Pilar 3. Um, just something else to play around with. And we'll see how it goes. So, on second thought, I guess there's lighting there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and open it, play around, get it in my hand before I start doing anything to it and see what I think. Cut it open with, um, really can't see it, but anyway, got it open. Like I was saying, I had a uh, Benchmade turret that I made some Gene Micarta scales for. Look okay, not my favorite. Like them better than the green OD uh, G10 that had all the ridges and everything on it, but um, Anyway, that's a different project. Um, there it is. In my hand. After many years. I'll take the plastic off in a minute. But um, yeah. Got a few ideas. Mess with the steel on the back. Steel on the front. Probably keep it steel. Um, we'll see. Blade. Thinking. Uh, might involve a little file work. A little welding. Uh, probably a lot of heat and um, yeah we shall see all right so I've carried around a little bit I felt some things I want to change and um, took it apart cleaned it sanded it made the action a little bit better and then um, went ahead and tried some of my ideas just to test them so what we're looking at is gonna plan on crowning the spine crowning the finger troll a little bit make it a little more comfortable and the thing I want is I want to I want a button not a button lock but a button release so I'm not in here digging on this all the time so I built a little um, walnut scale real quick just to just to test it carry it around for a little while and see if it works so I'll have to use this little hole I made open it up have to grind out a little bit of the blade right there in the troil but um should be able to flick it open and close i'll have to i'll have to turn a um <clears throat> a button that'll stay in there and then just push against the the frame lock bar so that's the plan and then probably titanium scale maybe a titanium cover over the scale and then uh titanium clip hadn't really decided on all that yet what we're gonna do and then probably a high polish on the blade but uh just trying to make it a, a gentleman's knife i suppose anyway just testing the theory seems to work okay it takes some some working out a little bit but right in so pretty easy little mechanism i think i've got to make sure to have enough travel so that i can push the lock bar all the way clear of the blade um so yeah carry it around a little more see what i think and then uh eventually get around to doing it so moving forward i got a little board and uh went ahead and heat treated and just um sanded some grain into the stainless steel scales kind of like it the um idea about a push button lock release worked so the walnut did its job the lock bar hole was a little too weak and uh started moving it's filled with epoxy now so i might come back and try that again at some point but for now i wanted i wanted to do it with titanium down the road anyways um but i'm waiting on some uh i gotta go after the fourth and get some stainless steel welding rod maybe wire depending on if i'm gonna use mega arc so i can extend this tab and make a flipper tab for it but in the meantime I'm bored and gonna play around a little bit so I'm gonna pull it all back apart and I'm gonna start rounding over the edges things has a lot of hot edges on it right here 
all the back of uh, each side of the scales. I'm just going to give them a little um, freeing up a little bit, and then I might start in on the blade. We'll see. But uh, I know it'll mess with the lock bar, but I think I can put it in the oven and retemper it. So I'm probably going to heat treat that side too, just because why not? So let's see what happens. So we got these eased over all the way around except where the back spacer sits so that'll stay flush but everywhere else eased over uh, this side's already heat treated I'll just redo it and uh, this side I put just sanded vertical lines on it just to match like I said this is just placeholder until I get everything figured out for what I want to do on it um, when I get the welding rod and know how far the flipper tab is going to be I'll drill a hole here for my push button release and then turn a aluminum uh, knob on the lathe and see what happens. But uh, next I think I think we will go ahead and tape up the edge of the blade and probably ease over the crown, the spine, and uh, finger troll a little bit. Just just enough, make it comfortable in the meantime. Got the blade, spined, crowned, troll. It just kind of eased over in the finger space. And then same here, just, just cut an edge a little bit. I plan on polishing the whole thing, so I'm not too worried about the finish just yet. Get a feel for it, see if there's any adjustments need to be made, and um, keep moving on. All right, so here we're going to heat treat them. The scales to about you know, this color, I'm gonna redo this one since I did smooth the edges. But what we'll do, got a little heat sink or uh, aluminum, so they heat up pretty evenly. Heat them up here using uh, some map gas. Heat them up till they're just almost red, not quite. And like I said, I am gonna do this side, even though I know it's gonna mess with the lock bar but I think I'll throw it in the oven and temper it back soften that up a little bit after it heats um, just got to watch and make sure that the little ball uh, standoff doesn't come out but I'll keep an eye on that put them in I just have some uh, old oil that I use for this and um, yeah then I think I can't really do much with the aluminum might make a new one of those down the road but I don't feel like trying to anodize it or anything like that. Can't copper it and then do something with the, uh, the standard clip. And this will just get me through till, till I get my full mechanism made, flipper tab made and everything. So let's get going with that. Crowned. It's not polished. Just, just quick sanded. Same with the uh, finger troll and the uh, thumb opening hole. Just round it off a little bit, using those sharp edges. The um, steel original scales. I like that one a little better. Um, 
just temporary for now we'll see and this one a little darker got a little hotter could sand it and do it again i might but uh for right now i'm moving on and um just so that they aren't stock i'm gonna go ahead and powder coat these uh the back spacer spacer in the clip sand it down the clip and i'll clean it with some acetone same with the back spacer and uh, powder coat it throw it in the oven and um should put it back together all right we have all the pieces uh, ready to go back together and like i said i'm going to add a flipper tab right there when i get some stainless steel wire these are powder coated black just real quick same thing powder coated black and uh parts to get put back together spacer or just eased over all those rough edges I kept feeling everything in my hand finger troll was cutting me thumb was not cutting poking at me everything um, even inside the lock bar but now it feels pretty good so that's it for now see the black and back spacer and pocket clip just powder coated pretty pretty quick and easy so right now like I said get some stainless steel welding rods or a wire if I'm gonna do MIG but I gotta change the gas if I do MIG but just add a little bit get a flipper tab on there and then I'm gonna drill a hole right in here for that button so I can use it to release the lock which means I'll have to grind into the blade just along right in here just a little bit um, using that walnut scale let me let me kind of test the theory and work out the location and it, it worked out pretty well um, except like I said the, the walnut it's a little bit soft for the lock bar knocked its way out but uh, still there good uh, testing and now for the I'll keep using it see what I think and I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't do the middle finger flick. There we go. A little more effort. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll see where it goes next. <laughs> 